Hey guys, and welcome to this video tutorial from TextualHealing.com. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to scale an image that you've uploaded to your uh, WordPress media uh, directory. Uh, let's just check this image on the desktop here to get an idea of what we're working with uh, for the sample here. So this is a 4.6 megabyte uh, image. Um, let's see here, more info. It's a uh, 4,000, basically a 4,000 pixel wide image. So that's a very large image. Um, let's throw it in. It's a full resolution, everything. So, you know, 4.6 um, megabytes is, is pretty average for a, a full res, full size image. So uh, once this is in here, we're gonna click it and we're gonna go into this half image editor. And then once we're here, we're gonna hit edit image down here. And now we'll be in this full image editor, WordPress's full image editor. Now, we're not going to do any sort of reframing of the image or cropping of the image. We're strictly going to look at scaling the image right now, just to reduce the size scale-wise. So, um, like we saw, for, uh, WordPress now sees the dimensions of the image, 4288 by 2848. So, we're going to, say, use this in a blog, for example. Um, if you're going to use it in the background, of, say, a background of your website or something, maybe you'll need it at 2,000 pixels wide image is going to be bigger. In that case, I would say use Photoshop or something to really reduce the, uh, the quality of the image so that it, it, it's smaller quality wise. Uh, it doesn't have as much information within the image, but we want to maintain this image. We want like, like a nice crisp image. We're going to use this in our blog, but we're only going to use it in the blog. So it only needs to be so big. So let's say we want it uh, 600 uh, pixels wide. That's as big as we're going to need it for our blog. Let's hit scale on that and WordPress will do its thing here. And now we have an image that's 600 pixels wide. If we wanna double check this, just hit the X, go back into the image again. And now in the details here, you'll see all of the, the image details. So dimensions 600 by 399, perfect. And file size, significantly, significantly smaller, 184 kilobytes, that's pretty small. Uh, for a blog post, you'll be getting away with that every time pretty much you know, especially with the high speed internet uh, these days, that's, that's nothing for, for load time for your site. So obviously if you're throwing in uh, an image that's 4.6 megabytes and you're using just a small um, uh, thumbnail of it, it's still gonna take a long time to load, right? So uh, depending on, you know, the tools you're using and all that, but you, this way you know for sure it's gonna be nice and small, it's gonna be user friendly um, and you'll, uh, you'll definitely get away with it every time. Um, so yeah, that's, that's the way to, to use WordPress to your advantage in terms of your images and your images, uh, image sizes. Um, any questions or anything like that, uh, just leave us a comment below and we'll be happy to help. Beep.